Hello, Reginald here, also known as Brother Teacher. I have a story for you, and I don't want to take up a lot of your time with it, but I believe, I feel that it bears paying attention to and understanding exactly the type of world that we live in, and in this particular instance, in America. Let me uh, preface the story by saying this. I love this country that we call America, that we all hold dear, but we have some problems in this country, and here is one of them. December 18th, 2013, a young lady, age 54, I'm going to do just like the friend of mine who sent me the email information on this case and I'm not going to mention her name. If you care to know her name, if you do a little bit searching, you will find out what her name is. But to protect her, I'm not going to say her name. So we begin by calling her Jane Doe. Well anyway, December 18th. 2013, a 54-year-old woman had took a trip to Mexico. And upon her coming back into the United States from Mexico at the El Paso, Texas border, she was randomly selected by custom agents to be searched, of course, for drugs which is typical. So they took her to an undisclosed separate facility where they began to search her. And during the search, outside of searching her physical clothing and her belongings, they searched her anus or her behind. They took her to a medical facility and they searched her vaginally. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, they searched her private area looking for drugs. They embarrassed, humiliated, degraded this woman for approximately six hours searching her for drugs. And upon completing the search, they found nothing. So they told her that any charges would be retroactive and that as long as she signed a statement saying that she gave them permission to do the search and the medical staff, that she would not be charged for the medical procedures that were performed on her. So she politely declined that offer. And so after she had gotten home, she had received a bill from the United States government for $5,000 in charges for the medical procedures of searching her illegally and unlawfully, of course. So she did not take that lying down no pun intended. It took approximately three years after strenuous court and legal battles. They settled out of court for over 140 something thousand dollars for illegally, unlawfully, physically abusing this woman during a unnecessary body cavity search and um, they wanted her yes they they wanted this woman to hold them harmless as a condition of concluding the case hold them harmless for violating her privacy her physical self what in the world has this world come to 
when you can be violated all in the name of so-called security. They found nothing on the woman. The woman didn't do anything wrong whatsoever. She uh, was not a drug mule. She wasn't smuggling anything. They just picked her randomly and they disgraced her, basically. And I'm sure that she will be scarred for the rest of her life. I hold that akin to being raped, what they did to her. And this is the government. This is the government that's supposedly protecting the people. That was it. Let me know what your viewpoint is on this particular subject matter in this video. And I'm going to leave something in the comment section slash uh, description section below so that you can do a further uh, research on your own. Okay, this is Brother Teacher, and I will see you again in the next video. And so long.